During his testimony, Troyer's attorneys asked him about the night in question when Troyer saw Alzheimer in his neighborhood. Troyer says he saw Alzheimer driving in and out of his neighbor's driveways and decided to follow him and eventually caught up to him. I drove and pulled up behind it, and as I slowed down, um, uh, the driver got out, walked back towards me. Troyer says after the initial confrontation, he called 911, then corrected himself and said he called the direct line to get officers to the scene. Troyer says he heard Alzheimer say he wanted to take him out and interpreted that to be a death threat. And Troyer says that never changed. Did you ever deny being threatened? No. Are you absolutely sure about that? Yeah, I never denied it. Troyer says that after learning that Alzheimer was a paper carrier, he thought Alzheimer should continue with his job and considered the matter over, and that he didn't even know a police report was written. Now, Officer Lalas wrote the report, is that right? Yes. Did he ever contact you in any way about what happened in that incident? No. Never? Never? Nope. Has anybody in law enforcement tried to interview you about what happened? No. But now, right. after months of seeing the story grow in the media, Troyer says he looked forward to telling his side. Well, I'm not a racist, like media says, and I didn't lie, like the Attorney General's office is saying, and I have not been able to talk about this. Now, court is in recess for the rest of the week. However, Sheriff Troyer's testimony is expected to continue Monday morning at 9 a.m. Live from the Pierce County Courthouse, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.